Before we begin, ensure that you must have the following. Node.js, a recent version installed on your computer. A code editor, such as Visual Studio Code, installed on your computer. And some basic knowledge of React. We are going to start this sample from scratch. First, let's create a new React app using create React app command. We open the terminal and we execute npx create React app and the name of the application. In this case, it's React image focal point sample. Here, I will just download all the dependencies and just create all the scaffolding needed. Meanwhile, this is south. We are going to show you the image sample that we are going to use for this demo. Well, let's check if the application has been created. Yes. Now we, just, we can just uh, execute it by going into the subfolder that we have created, create image focal point example, and launch the command npm start. So a new application will be open on port 3000 by default, and we will get all the fancy React default uh, GIF animated spinning. Well, let's keep on moving now that we have the, <laughs> the basic boilerplate. Um, now we are going just to create an image. We are not going to, to use uh, yet the, the image focal point component. So we are going to create a, a standard image on app.js. But we are going to enter some styles on the CSS file. So we are going to define a giving style that will have a max width of 300 pixels, a fixed age of 600 pixels, and the image will cover the entire container while maintaining its aspect ratio. So let's go here and let's insert this style. Portrait image, class with 100%, 800%, object fit cover, max width 300, 8, 600. And on, the, on top of the app class that is used in this app Yes, in this class name, ABP, yes. Uh, we are going to add a flex display with a flex direction row. Okay. So let's display the image in the app component. So we can go into the app.js. And here, let's get rid of all this default React content. And let's add our image. So here we, go, we get it. It's an image. This is a nice landscape. And we are applying the portrait image class. So we get this uh, width and this height and the, the cover. Fine. Now the image is displayed. But we may want to define a focal point, so the image is cropped in a way that the focal point is always visible. We can do this by using the object position CSS property. So we can go and type here something like as in style, object position, 10%, 50%. We could play with that, 30%. Fine, and we can see the focal point that is displayed exactly where, where, where we want. This can be a good solution if we know beforehand the picture dimensions and where we want to place the focal point. But what if we want to define the focal point dynamically? For instance, a given user uploads an image on a CMS-like tool and we want him to be able to define the focal point. Now we will use the React image focal point library to define the focal point dynamically. So let's install React image focal point library we will go to the terminal, let's stop the server, and we will execute npm install at lemon code uh, that, uh, slash uh, react image focal point. Okay, this will install the react image focal point library and its dependencies. And let's import the CSS of the image focal point library in our app ES5. Another option is to place it in your webpack.config entry area. So let's go on top of the app, uh, yes, and let's add this, the following import. So we import here 
the styles from the image focal point library. And now let's instantiate the image focal point component. First, we will import it. And we are going to add an state to our component to store the focal point coordinates. So let's import use a state from React. And let's add an unstate to hold that value. We have here this is a state, x, y, and focal point set focal point. Okay, time to instantiate our image focal point component. We come here, here we go. We got the image focal, image focal point component, the image, the landscape that we are using, and when we change the focal point, we call set focal point and we update this value. Now we are going to bind the image to the focal point. So instead of having this style object position hard coded, we are going to pass using backticks and interpolation the value of the focal point state that we have binded to our image focal point. Okay, let's start the sample. Let's make this bigger so we can see now the, the two pictures. And now if we try to drag the focal point from left to right, we can see how the focal point changes on the target destination.